Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Shaustul, and this is another tutorial for modern space engineers. In this episode, we'll be covering construction models, as well as referencing information on Harag's info page again. So we're going to open up the page, and we want to go to screen layout like before, and scroll down a little bit. Alright, so we're doing construction phases, which goes on 11, 12, and 13, and here we can see it goes 1, 2, 3. Now, layer 11 is going to be the first construction model you see when you place it down in survival. And la layer 13 is going to be the one just before the main model when it's complete. So we're going to start on layer 13 and work our way back because we're going to deconstruct the model to make our construction phases. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and open up Blender. And here you can see we're on our LOD model. And I want to just duplicate this and move it to layer 13. And I'm going to do another edit. I want to use a base texture that doesn't have any details to it. And I want to use it to cover the whole model. That way it's very easy for the player to identify, hey, this model's not done. I need to make sure I go and finish it so it's actually working. So to do that, I'm going to come over to the right and just remove all of the materials. I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to call it default and click convert to nodes material 0.8 and I'm going to add my basic so this texture is like the one that's on the cargo container and the reactor and the other simply colored blocks. Alright, so now it's this white color, but I want it to be more of an orange. So I'm going to go like this. And there we are. Alright, so we're going to make some simple small edits to go from full model to a low construction model. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the panel here and the arm holding the panel. And that's easy enough for a near final phase construction. I'm going to duplicate that and move it to layer 12. So as you can see we have the UV map from the LOD model and as long as we don't change anything here aside from deleting we won't have to worry about redoing this. So that's important to note. I'm going to delete these arms here as well as their little sleeves. And then I'm going to go to the final or first stage in this case. And I'm just going to delete this last arm, the circle bit here, and these. And there we go. Now the reason I'm keeping this bar here with the sphere is so the player can identify, hey, that's a gyroscope. And I want to make sure that it portrays our collision mesh. Because even if it's just the base here, you still won't be able to walk through it. Because this is our collision. So that pretty much is everything we need to do for this. You can get as super complex as you want or as super simple as you want. Just make sure that with whatever model you make, you at least have one construction phase. Some of the blocks don't work properly if you don't have at least one. A good example of this is doors, which can be a headache for people first trying to get the hang of them. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.